EKG Burst Part 1. Long-standing right ventricular overload can manifest with any of these ECG findings. I can think of five of them. How many can you think of? How about number one? Very peaked P waves, particularly in V1 and the inferior leads. And the P wave axis will look vertical, around 85 degrees. And remember that a normal P wave axis is between 45 and 60 degrees. Number two, prominent T wave inversions in lead V1 and biphasic T waves in V2. Number three, prominent R wave in V1. But the R to S ratio will still be less than one. Number four, terminal S waves in the left chest leads. So instead of just a QR, where R is typically the terminal wave, there's also an S. So would this affect the transition zone? Yes, of course, there is no true transition zone when terminal S waves appear in the left chest leads. And finally, number five, right axis deviation. So if you suspect right ventricular overload in a patient, I would look first at lead V1 because it can tell you a lot, like peaked P waves, T wave inversions, or a prominent R wave. These three findings on the cardiogram are associated with hypokalemia. Hypokalemia on ECG may show ST depressions, T wave inversions, and large U waves. So hypokalemia can mimic ischemia because of all three of these, ST depressions, T wave inversions, and U waves. But in ischemia, you won't see U waves as often. Large U waves are more specific for hypokalemia. In which type of patient is the physiologic variant of right axis deviation more common? I'll give you a hint, it has to do with age. Right, so infants and children can often have a normal rightward QRS axis. Although within the normal range, a PR interval of 190 milliseconds may indicate slow AV conduction if the heart rate is increased or decreased. Increased. So first of all, can you tell me the normal range for PR interval? Right, 120 to 200 milliseconds. If a patient is tachycardic, you would expect the PR interval to be closer to the low normal range. And why is that? Well, in sinus tachycardia, there is increased sympathetic tone and decreased vagal tone. And hence, the PR interval should also be decreased. <laughs>